So in this video, we are going to see how we can use isolated in invocation grouping. In our last video, we have seen how we can use change set processing in invocation grouping. So in the last video, we have updated multiple records at once where we have updated a status field by selecting the multiple records in the list report page in Fury application. The same thing can be done using isolated as well where you can select multiple records and uh, you can update the status. So what is the difference in these two things? The very main difference here is uh, using change set processing you if you have any of the invalid records or if you have put a custom validation and some record fails it will not update any of the record so either it will update all of the records or none in case of isolated if you have any invalid record in your listing which are a result of custom validation then those invalid records will be left and uh, the valid records which are available in your list will be saved properly to the database this is the main difference between these two things hash isolated and hash change set both can be used with uh, ui annotations for example ui line item or other annotations which we have seen in our previous video for change set so let's see what are all similarities and what are other differences in between these two terms. So change set and isolated. Change set using this you can process multiple record at once. Isolated also provide the same functionality. Multiple records can be processed at once. In the change set all records must be valid means there is there should not be any invalid records or there should not be any record in the failed structure in isolated only valid records are processed leaving the invalid records unprocessed so even if you have some of the records which are invalid or in the failed status then those records will be leaked and uh, the other valid records will be processed the third point is single session is created for processing the records so when you use change set there is a single session which gets created and uh, all of the records get processed in this session only in case of isolated multiple sessions are created one per record to be processed so for example if you have five different records then uh, per record a single session will be created and that record will be processed in that those individual sessions the fourth thing is all records are processed in one go so when you use chain set we have already seen this in our previous video so the code in the debugging executes only once and all of the records get processed at once in case of isolated individual records are processed one by one means whatever action you are triggering that action will be triggered multiple times and each time a single record will be processed so these are some of the differences in between these two things change set and isolated now let's see how we can implement isolated in a web restful application programming model okay so now we are in our eclipse and uh, this is the code which we have written in our previous video for uh, change set now in this video since we are we are seeing a new option here which is available and uh, that is isolated so we will be changing change set 
to isolated and we are making this change in our metadata extension file this one so this is the only change we need in this file let's activate it it is activated now and uh, now move to our class method which we created in previous video which is used to update the status so this method was updating all of the records with the status true whatever record you select all of those records will be updated with status true this is what this method was doing now since we are using isolated let's place some validation here and uh, for some of the records those validation will be passed and for some of the record those validations will be failed for failed validations for failed records we will show some error message and the rest of the records will be processed so very first thing which we need to do here is we will place a new validation or a check here the check which we are placing here is based on the age what we are going to do is we will be checking age of student if that age is less than 25 then we will show some error message here and if it is greater than 25 then we will be updating the status to true let's write some small code here to update the error messages append value hash is equal to what our key field percent tky to fail fail student okay so we have added the field record here and uh, now we need to report this so to report we already know how to do that TKY is equal to percent tky and uh, then what message you want to place here so for that percent message msg is equal to new message with text and uh, put a round bracket here put the severity our severity would be behavior message and then severity is error so we will be showing error message here and what text do you want so for text we will be updating we will be updating the first name of student so first name concatenate and then your message like has h less than 25 status not updated and now finally what we are going to do is we will be closing this and adding all of these to the reported entity and dot 
so what we have done here is we have append the error messages to the field and then we have added proper error messages to reported structure here if the age of the student is less than 25 else it would be updated with the true status now once this is done what we want to do is if we got anything in this structure then we do not want to modify the record so let's put a check if this is this is initial then only run the modify statement and here let's uh, put a sort by status descending and uh, that's it let's format it and uh, activate so our object is now activated everything is done we have already updated our metadata extension file now let's open our application so this is what our application looks like we have created in our previous video so the validation will work on all of these four records because we will be selecting all of these record and we will click on the update status button what our target is to update this status for each of the records whose age is greater than 25 so in this case only this record and this record should be updated and for this one and this one we should get an error message so let's refresh click on go let's see how it works so we have status all no let's select all of these status and click on the update button so second record and the fourth record should be updated click on update status see we got two error messages one for first name has age less than 25 status not updated and then the third one someone name has status as age less than 25 status not updated so only another name and yet another name will be updated click on close and you see another standard error message two or four objects cannot be processed closed and see we got the two records updated and two are not so this is how you can use isolated to validate and update multiple records in a list report that's all for now in this video and if you like the content please consider subscribing to my channel thank you